Hi there, it's Tanya from Tusty Treasures. Hello and welcome back. So today I'm filming the uh, Roxy Challenge for this week and it's called a Narrow Window Envelope Flip. So <clears throat> I've got these envelopes. I'm using uh, new ones because um, my junk mail ones I've already tea dyed um, and they're gonna be totally covered so um, I'd rather save them for something that, you know, isn't totally covered. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start off by, well, I'm going to fasten them all up first. Now, these are brand new, so I, I don't think there's any need to um, glue, glue them. I think um, it'll be fine. do all these so these are normal like our office um type envelopes they're a little bit shorter than the american ones and i think they're a little bit more chunkier but i suppose that's um goes with the ra4 and um us letter size so i'm guessing the business envelopes are supposed to fit those kinds of um sheets of paper so I've got six out I'm only Rachel got four done um so yeah I'm only thinking I'm gonna get four done but I can do the prep work for for all six and then I can finish finish them off camera let's have a look oh yeah I've moved my um camera about so I'm sitting in a different place on my desk. I'm not sure if I like it or not. But <coughs> I am preferring the way that it it looks um, up above. Um, you know, your view of it. But um, yeah, I'm not actually very comfortable. So I think I could move over. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'd scrunch right up into that corner but actually this is probably um middle so yeah i just need to <coughs> get used to the the new space it's it's quite weird really when when you move around like you wouldn't think that it made much of a difference but it really does because um you know obviously <coughs> you're stretching for things um all the time you're having to put you know certain things on your table so um, that changes um so yeah it's it's quite quite weird but we'll see because i am liking the way um that it's looking in the camera i think you've got a bigger view um <clears throat> than you had before right last one so i've done them all with the windows at the top Now, you need to think, do I want to leave these full height or do I want to cut them down? Now, this is eight and a half. So, I think I'm going to cut them down. Um, so, <laughs> if I do them like that, I'm wondering if I can get them all in, to be honest. just give it a quick I don't want it dead on eight oh just over seven and a half that is and <coughs> that'll be fine oh. right so that's that I to think where my bin was then I think it's in the same place as it normally is I think it needs to be on the opposite side right that's all I need the ruler for so now we've got this and it's totally open so we're just going to go around <coughs> and glue anywhere that needs uh, gluing back down I don't know if no I'll keep it on I was going to I was going to rip it off so I think that's the only bit that we'll want um, any kind of gluing back on 
So I hope everybody's doing okay. I don't know if I've said I'm filming this and it's Tuesday or not. Um, <clears throat> I'll put it up, the video up. Oh dear, I can't talk. I will put the video to go up tomorrow. Um, if you haven't caught my um, birthday celebration um, giveaway video, that was up yesterday. So I don't know if you want to... Um, catch that I'm rather excited about it um, and I do mention it again in this week's vlog so I'll probably keep mentioning it for the next couple of couple of weeks because if you want to take part I want to give you plenty of time to um, to get yourself ready okay i'm wondering if i no that's okay right so first we're gonna cover this back and cover along there now i've got a load of this um washi what's um left over so i'm thinking i might just um put that across just for quickness really and it's it's pretty uh durable so it will um give it some stability right let's get my middle scissors out let's do it that way so might as well do that for all all six so good um use of you know your washi tape or if you've got any you know little strips left from projects um I've just sorted through all my strips because I'm going to be doing um, some projects with them soon. So I didn't really want to use um, my strips up. And I've sorted through some of them because some of them, I wouldn't even use them. Um, so yeah, I've also been through my scraps because again, you, when you look at them, this things that like just aren't usable. Um, but I think in the moment you just think, right, I'll save it. Um, so yeah, been through them as well. <laughs> the endless quest of, of tidying your things up. Uh, so yeah, yesterday when I changed um, my camera angle, obviously I had to have another tidy up and just, you know, move things around a little bit Um to suit where where I'm sitting now um so yeah I really hadn't planned on let's have a tidy up but um that's what happened only a little bit of one and I've been doing some printing of um labels and and things because um <clears throat> I was getting really low um I've been filming oh. Um, like a botanical, I'm going to call it a botanical special. So it's going to run over um, two weekends and there's going to be three videos um, on the Saturday and the Sunday for two weeks. And it is um, making a camera. <laughs> Uh, with no digitals apart from I mean I say no digitals but I've used labels um, but I've done everything else with uh, book pages botanical book pages and I've done um, like a journal's worth so I'll be able to use all the ephemera in a journal um, I will be putting some of the sets up in Etsy I don't think you're going to see that. Oh, I'll just put some. Because um, I made several of, of each item. So I'm going to keep a couple of each item for future journals. And then I'm going to um, put some sets together and put some in the shop. Right. So now I'm going to cover this bit up. So... I want to do uh, two with these blue papers uh, because I've been doing some odd things with these papers. These papers are from Midnight Designs um, because I'm going to be doing a navy blue um, 
a journal at some point so every now and again I keep doing an odd you know piece and and putting it away so I have printed these out you know especially to do this but then I'm going to do the rest with um scraps because I don't really want to do any for <coughs> the botanicals because um I've got botanicals coming out my ears and I've just not got time um at the moment to do um you know get stuck into making a journal or anything i'm trying to get um things used up and yep. series that i've already got going you know finished finished off um and then i can start um on some new projects so I think next week is the last one in the junk mail um, series. I've only got a few more um, pockets to film of the D's, D.D. Farrago's uh, challenge. So those two will be coming to, to an end. So then I'll be able to use those um, days as... Uh, new new projects right so I want it about there so I'm just gonna rip across there see how wide we want it okay I wonder if I can just rip there that should be fine shouldn't it yeah so that can go there um, I don't know if to use. No, I'm going to get my book and I'm going to use um, <coughs> glue stick. So I've got my Elmer's. I don't know what else I've got to tell you. I don't think a lot. Um, yeah, coming to the end of... Um, the Bay Bunny paper as well, what I've been doing in the um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodars mass makes. So once I've got to number 40 in that, shall I'll have a few weeks um, off it and then I'll start again and I'm going to do some um, Edith Holden um, things with... with um, in Tina's mass mates. But I've still got a few um Edith Old and ephemera bits. So I want to get some uh, file folders done, some out of file folder journals to use up the pieces that I've already got before I start um making any more. Right, this one can go in here. Should have kept that piece for a for a template. <laughs> so let's guesstimate. Yeah, that's fine. That's the, that's my cheapy one. I just use that one. I know I'm going to um so. So I'm not going to work uh, tomorrow. I've <coughs> rang in and said that I'm not going in because um, I've put my COVID test. I've ummed and ahed, um because I was kind of one of those people, too frightened to, too frightened not to, if that makes any any sense. Um, but yeah, I've. Um, I've took the plunge and I've, I've booked it, so um, I've got to go into town tomorrow. Right, let's see what we've got. If I do music paper, that's pretty generic, isn't it? I can use that with anything. Um, yeah, I've got to go into town tomorrow. I've not been to town for, gosh, I bet it's nearly two years. Um, no, 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 it isn't. Um, I went on Alma's 
birthday. Is that the birthday just gone? I can't remember. Um, yes, it was. Um, we booked in to the opticians. It was in between um, our lockdowns and we'd got into the opticians and it was actually Helena's birthday. Um, and none of the shops was open. Um, and we just went to McDonald's. You couldn't sit out uh, inside. Um, and we literally stood outside and it was raining. It was in November. Um eating a McDonald's and there was um you know like a bus busker um singing about the end of the world um and it was all quite bizarre because um it was it was dark it was wet um it was cold there was you know really nobody about um yeah and it was just a bit surreal I said to Alma you'll remember that birthday forever <laughs> But I said, knowing, knowing her, all she'll remember is my mum took me somewhere and a bloke was singing about, you know, the end of the world and, yeah. She was like, can you remember that birthday, mum, where, <laughs> where you took me to see a singer and uh, it was the end of the world? Yeah, because they never remember the right thing, do they? And, I, and obviously, because I've not got a very good memory, I'll be like, no, I can't remember that. But yeah, that happened. So yeah, I've not been for a while, but um, obviously the shops wasn't open. So um, we get off the the bus in the city centre. There's one of those hairdressers. What a, a bit like a takeout. <laughs> the expensive, but the them ones what you can just walk in, quick get your hair cut and and leave type thing. Um. So I'm hoping that um, I'm going to go a couple of hours earlier and I'm hoping that I can just get my hair cut. But um, yeah, it's got so long. All I can think, because I was thinking, well, when they ask what do I actually want done, I haven't got a clue. I just don't want it to look like it looks now. Um, I feel like I kind of need it cut to have a look how I want it cut if that makes any sense <laughs> whatsoever it's like can you cut it and then uh, I'll have a think about how I want it cut um, but yeah I just want to not look like a witch anymore really <laughs> so I might just say uh, just just to uh, stop me, make it you know stop me from looking like a witch and I'll be I'll be happy so I think I'm probably going to go um, you know, top of shoulder length and keep my fringe in. Um, probably just have it all one length and then <laughs> it will stop me looking so awful. Make me feel a bit better about myself and then, you know, I think when I've my hair cut another time. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get, to get in there. Um, and I need to go into Primark. I don't know if you have Primark, it's all over. Right, I'm gonna stop talking for a second. Right, so next, um, what do we do, what do we do? We're gonna stick that in, back in. And, right, so we're going to fold this. Why is one side bigger than the other? Oh, it's going to be, isn't it? So the actual pocket's going to be quite a narrow, long one. And so if it's in a book, it's would stick on so I feel like I'm being really rubbish at explaining that side will stick on that side that side will stick on there so it will go like so so you'll open it up and there'll be the back this flap then you'll open it that way and you'll have this flap here so obviously 
you know this can you can just stick it down there and there and have this as a as a tuck and same on same on here so um you won't see that those bits but you will see those bits okay so what we're really gluing down is just that bit at the bottom so I think I'm going to fold them all first So Primark, it's one of those places that it's big. Um, it sells men's, women's, children's, um, beauty, uh, houseware. Um, and it's really, it's not really cheap. I mean, it used to be really, really cheap. Some things you pick it up and you go, oh my goodness, that's so cheap. But it's it's really very reasonable, um, and it's it's a place I go to get pajamas, underwear. Um, I think that's about it really. Bubbles, everyday, um, you know, earrings, what you lose and throw the other one away, that type of thing. Uh, scrunches, um, Allen lights, the false nails. Um, we sometimes have a look at like bags and belts so yeah it's where you really get accessories from you don't really get clothes from there I have had the odd thing but <laughs> yeah it's absolutely fab for pyjamas um, and in winter it's you know go for my fluffy socks and uh, fluffy slippers and that kind of place and you go in and you look at all the prices and you think oh that's reasonable that's reasonable and uh, yeah when you get to the counter and it's like oh my goodness how have I managed to spend uh, that much money I'm gonna have to cut that bit a bit off I've gone a bit too too overboard here <laughs> with that one so but yeah, I used to go like twice a year, summer and winter. So we're just going on as holidays and it was two weeks, Monday just gone. Um, yeah, I, could, I need some new underwear and some new pyjamas. So Alma's just had some new pyjamas. She'd ordered some from um, online from Sheen which is her favourite uh, place to shop at the moment. Again, that's really cheap. And it's ideal for her because obviously they're still growing. Fashions change. They just throw the clothes away, don't they? Um, I mean, me, clothes, I want them to last forever type thing. But um, I get... My, most of my clothes from, from the shop I work in because they are, you know, clothes that last forever but um, yeah, our pyjamas and underwear and is, is too expensive <coughs> um, really, for pyjamas right, so that's all those done so I know that I definitely want to get those two done so let's let's crack on how long have i been on about 20 minutes because i had a had a waffle didn't i at the beginning right i'm just gonna drink some of my tea <laughs> right so i don't know if to bring that over because when it's 
when it's on the page let's think about this that's actually going to be on the opposite page isn't it that's yeah it's a bit weird isn't it <laughs> i don't know how to do it right i think i'm gonna use um some washi tapes um i'm wondering if i've got one you know that will fit um round one of the one of the sides that's going to be far too thin. It'll be that funny length, won't it, where they are either too thin or too thick. That's too thick. But I could I could bend that round, but it's not the right colour. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. It worked in my mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll forget that. Right. Come on, um, so this one, let's, um, let's get going, so I'm not going to fold it round because I'm going to put a plain uh, one on the, one on the back. I can ink all down that, that side after. So that's that side. Then no, I don't want that. Okay, I just don't feel with it today. I don't know what's the matter. Um, I feel really uh, tired mentally more than um, anything. But I think it's just because there's <coughs> just, well, I mean, I'm going to say there's a lot going off. There's not a lot going off. Um, but I think, you know, just all being um, back at work. <coughs> back at school has everybody got everything um what days you know do we need to get food that's fast because i'm at work and um has everybody got you know the clothes that they need for school and work and I, it's just those everyday kind of um things which yeah, it just seems to be hurting my head um, at the moment. I feel a bit overwhelmed with it, with it all. Um, yeah, so I don't feel as if I can make uh, simple decisions. And I always get like that when, when I've got a lot on um, in mind. It's just, yeah, I've... Um, kind of got nothing left to um just do simple simple things um so obviously you know we're going on this holiday in less than two weeks and you know kind of thinking what do we need to take what do we need close by in the car um there's different instructions of like checking in because um, you know, we're still in some kind of lockdown. Um, there's still restrictions and stuff. So all the checking in's very different. Um, <laughs> you know, and they keep sending emails. School keeps sending emails. Um, you know, every time there's a, a new case, um, they let you know. Every time, you know, a regulation changes, they let you know. Um, so, yeah, just feel bombarded with, with information um, you know and it might sound funny but um, you know I've even said to Ryan yeah I've got the right week off work haven't you and you may think 
oh, as if it's, you know, as if. But um, when it was the lockdown, I'd booked us to go go away, just me and Ryan for a night um, in a kind of, it's like a little village. Um, and we had to cancel anyway because it was locked down. But it booked the wrong week off. It booked the week after off. So as much as you think, oh, as if it's going to do that. Yeah, really, it happens. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's made me a little bit. Oh. Um, and then obviously um, we're travelling in the car with the dog. Um, it can be a bit of a, a silly boy. He likes barking at everybody. Um, obviously, you know, when you turn up on the caravan site and he's going to be going mental, you know, are the people who's checking his in going to think, hmm, fancy them bringing that kind of dog here. Um, but it's because he's that nervous that he just barks um, and he'll just like throw himself at the window and things like that. So, yeah, I'm just getting myself wound up about quite um, silly things, really. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's how I feel um, at the moment. So that's that's that sign. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just gonna have to put um, another piece piece in there. I can put a dark piece up there. Um, yeah, I've been seeing. Well, I've seen my mum a couple of times now because she's had both her her jabs. Um, and I don't know if I've said, but she's had a really bad back. Um, she's had to go to physio. Um, she's been working at home through the pandemic, but um, she's actually off sick at the minute. So, yeah, I've been a little bit worried about about my mum. Um, Ryan's dad's back in the hospital, um, and it's looking like he's going to have to go in a, some kind of residential home. Which is crazy because um, he's, he's only in his mid sixties, um, <clears throat> so yeah. And um, I don't know what other boys are like, and I've not got sons or brothers, and um, or even uncles. <laughs> or I grew up without a dad, so uh, yeah, I'm not really that knowledgeable on men. But um, yeah, Ryan's not very good at. Um, you know, like catering in the hospital up and finding things out and stuff. So I've kind of had to, have you rang them? What have they said? Do you need to do anything? Um, so yeah, I felt a bit with that as well. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all my, um, <laughs> all my stresses at the minute. But yeah, I'm not, it's funny because you know, as I've just said them all, it's like I'm not really worrying about them. I just think it's because I've just got a lot um, to think about. Um, and I think I've been back at work four weeks now. So, and I, I'm so, um, well, I'm so grateful to my body. <laughs> um, it's managed. I, I've done really, really well. Um, but last week and this week um i have i have struggled um more than the first <coughs> two weeks um yeah i've got real fatigue you know like deep deep within kind of thing um fatigue's a bit funny because you know before i got ill i just thought fatigue was you know tired oh, I'm tired um, but it's I can say oh I'm tired and I'm fatigued and it is it's two different things um I it's like deep within when when you're fatigued it's um yeah it's I don't know even how to explain it that's the only way I can explain it really it's like deep within your core um, and it's in, it's in your brain, it's in your body, it's it's everywhere. Um, so yeah, it's 
everything has been uh, hard work but I keep I keep trotting you know trotting on um I've had odd days you know in bad only odd days one at you know one at a time I've not needed to spend um <coughs> more than one and uh, when I finished work last Friday I got home no, just before six um, and I went to bed I came in had something quick to eat and I went to bed and I probably slept eight at night till eight the next morning so um don't think I'm not getting um you know enough enough rest because I, I definitely am um I mean a lot of times when we've had tea and pots are washed and you know everything's sorted for the following day type thing um you know I come up into me into my room into my bedroom um seven eight o'clock and you know wind wind down and stuff so I have plenty of um you know um rest and and things so that is one completed oh I need to glue the bottom <laughs> right let's do that so we need to go from there so I'm just doing it after this bit I need to do the top bit as well don't I oh what a silly no I don't because that's where the tag's going do I need to do yes I do okay let's do this again so I'm going to go down the bottom and I'm going to go up here and I want to keep pretty narrow because obviously this is where the, the tag's going to go I'll probably only end up making two to be honest what time are we on yeah but that's fine isn't it I'm going to say this can go with that um, journal I can put the rest in me unfinished pile so that's those oh, I really like that um, so that could be for writing so pop that to the side um, I'll do another one in that um, style okay so I think I'm going to cover the back in this Obviously, it's not wide enough, so I'll just put something something else there. Yeah, I've still not seen um, my eldest daughters and the grandchildren. Because um, I was at least wanting to get back into the routine of, of working and get my um, first, first job. Because, you know, I literally... I've been still staying in. Yeah, I've been going to work twice a week. But, um, you know, and we have to keep his distance at all times and the screens up and this, that and the other. And we wear his masks and and stuff. So, like, we, we're very well protected. Um, and a lot of the times we've still been having online shopping. We have had to go uh, a couple of times. So, yeah, I'm still, you know... Um, like I say, I've seen seen my mum twice, but we kept as as distance. Well, it's a bit different with with grandchildren. Eh? Like, couldn't see them and say, "Don't come anywhere near me." Um, so, yeah, I'm still still not mixing. I say, I've had a couple of friends like message me and say, "Do you want to meet up and stuff?" And I, oh, I just think, no, no, I don't. No, I'm not ready. Um, yeah. So, and I think that kind of, I, I don't. You can get a bit bogged down with, with guilt, then, can't you? Um, you know. Um, so yeah, that's weighing on me too. Oh, it's great. But I think the main thing is, it's because I'm a bit tired. Um. And I think you do feel a little bit like that, don't you, when you're not 
when you're not great so but yeah it could have been a lot worse i was expecting to go back probably be about two three days and be off two three weeks um i did think it would knock me off my feet um and it hasn't so yeah i'm really pleased with myself not like i've got that much control over it but um <laughs> I mean, you know, you have to a certain certain extent. I mean, sometimes you can do everything to keep well and, you, you know, you can still get knocked off your, your feet. It's one of those things. But I think a lot of times if you try and, you know, keep balanced and, and things, it, you can keep it at bay. Right, I've got this bit here. And I've got that bit here. So I'm thinking that could go there. Um, but I'm going to put a piece in there. I don't want that there. Shall we just use... I think I'll just put some of that across. Um, so we're really looking forward to, to the holiday. Um, every tea time I say, how many sleeps is it now? And we keep... <laughs> We keep counting down um, and then we keep telling Colin <laughs> Ryan is not that interested <laughs> uh, he don't get excited uh, he just kind of goes with the flow so yeah I can't wait so looking forward to um, nothingness just you know some peace and quiet some relaxing time like I say, we're not we're not go out as um, and I'm lucky, um, you know, Alan is. I suppose if if she had a friend uh, with us, she'd probably be a lot more, you know, wanting to go out and about. But she's she's quite happy uh, to sit sit in. Right, I'm just going to put some tape up there just to um, cover that bit. Let's see if I can find that. I think this is a Tim Holtz one. Yeah, it is. You can tell how sticky it is. So, yeah, she'll be quite happy to, you know, have an afternoon um, of napping or um, when we get there, we'll go to the the shop on site and you know get a couple of magazines and and stuff so yeah i think she'll she'll like it um and she, she's quite happy you know sitting playing cards and and things like that and uh, because they're not normally things we get get time to do you know um day to day we're still doing as as girls night still keep <laughs> managing to to fit that in i've tried to um oh, i've just got that a bit too short i think i'm just going to put some tape across there Did I, uh, um yeah i've tried to prioritize it last week I, I felt a bit too tired for it but um i just said to it we'll just watch one one tonight and like we're not messing about we'll you know get it watched because Sometimes we'll just start, you know, chatting and oh, before we know it, the makeup's out and um, stuff. I mean, a couple of times we've had to re-watch <coughs> the same um, episode because it was on and we've we've not watched it because we're messing about it. I mean, I said to you the way that, you know, we sorted through my wardrobe and <laughs> planned my holiday capsule wardrobe. <laughs> and what I was missing and you know what I needed kind of thing well last night it wasn't girls night but um she she ended up in my room I mean I'd come up my dad has tea and stuff and we, were, we was late last night um so when we came up it was uh, you know about eight o'clock um and I came up in my room and Colin got on the bed and Elmer came in um, and before we knew it, all my makeup was out, and um, yeah, we was going through what needed throwing away. How long I'd had it for? 
Um, and I mean, she's only 13, but she's very, very good at makeup. Um, she's quite artistic. And um, she actually taught me how to apply eyeshadow. <laughs> I mean, crikey, I'm 50 this year. But obviously, the way that you wear makeup has changed. Um, you know, when I started wearing makeup in, in the 80s, um, it was very... I mean, I used to put three colours on, kind of, well, at least two. So I'd have one on the top of my eyelid, um... Then I'd have one in, in the middle, you know, in the crease of your eye. And then one higher up. Um, no, a bit of blue mascara. <laughs> and my uh, Twilight Teaser lipstick, which was like a purpley pink high shimmer. Um, I think I'm going to put that down there. I don't know why I ripped that, because I like that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and the way that the way makeup's changed now, so... And I'd noticed, you know, the young girls at, at work, um, how they did their eyes. And I asked Eleanor. That. So she taught me how to do it. And I must say, I look a, a lot better doing it the way that she's taught me. Uh, which is just putting the eyeshadow in your crease. And you use, it's like a flat brush, but it's, it's a chunky brush. So when you go in your eye socket type thing some of it does go on your oh, on your lid and some goes above but very very subtle and it it does it looks loads better right have i done this one oh, i've done it i didn't even notice i've done it um so i mean You'll think I'm crazy, but a couple, well, no, well, a couple of times I've had some quite silly makeup disasters. Um, so that's that one. Need to glue it up, don't I? Um, I once went to work because um, the day I work is Ryan's day off. I'm now working the evening on on a Wednesday, but I used to go early. So when I used to put my makeup on, it would be dark in the bedroom. Um, and I didn't I didn't put the light. I mean, Ryan puts the light on if I'm in bed, but I'm not that kind of person. Uh, I just you know stumble around in the dark. Um, and I just quickly filled in my eyebrows, and. Um, yeah, I didn't realise, but when when I got to work, I'd actually got metallic eyeliner um, in, my, in my eyebrows, like a greyy blue. Yeah. So, that's that one. Uh, what else have I done? Well, I've gone to work a couple of times looking like a, a clown, because I think that I can wear a certain colour blusher, and it really does not suit me anymore. Um, and <clears throat> the way I put it on again it's what I used to in the 80s um, and, and the thing is like because Eleanor's like well I can't understand why you've never learned how to redo it and it's like well when you're an adult you've not really got time have you um, it's only really in your teenagers that you sit in experimenting with, with makeup and, and stuff um, so yeah <laughs> like my makeup routine it takes me about 10 minutes <laughs> um so that's that one what kind of time right we've gone past the timer but i'm going to do another one because i'm in full full waffle mode now um so yeah i kind of still do that um you know big up your face you'll know you know exactly what i mean um i'm gonna go it first oh let's be let's be different um and as 
as I've got older and obviously I'm a certain age now where um, I can get quite flush skin on my cheeks so then when I've got this blusher on and I'm having a bit of a you know flush um, I, look, I look like a clown um, so yeah she um, she showed me what brushes I should be using and where actually to put it on my face and um, she informed me that I was wearing the wrong colour blusher. Again, she's 13. But um, she, she's right. Um, like I did it then last night. I mean, I was so tired. But um, I was quite enjoying um, <laughs> I was enjoying it. Um, I wonder if I can rip that down. So I can go a bit like that. Um, so yeah, I redid it. Um, how she said and it looked loads better and then she said um and how'd you put your foundation on mum so i showed her and um yeah she really showed me how to put my foundation on and i could not believe the difference um so yeah that's what we ended up doing last night and before i knew it it was like getting on for 11 o'clock no it wasn't it was about it was about half past 10. I was like, I don't know, you'll have to leave now and I need to go to sleep. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, yeah, so sometimes we we get sidetracked. But I cleared all my makeup out, um, I got rid of quite a lot. Um I'm supposed to be doing this with scraps, aren't I? Well I am doing it with scraps. I just feel quite drawn to this blue paper today. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Oh, I can't have that there. Is that the sound? No. I can't have it there, actually. And put it across. So, I'm not sure if we're having girls tonight or, or not tonight, because um, Ryan's not gone to work today, he's ringing sick. Um, we've both had this, oh, and I think that's why I feel rubbish as well. Both had a really sore throat. Um, And headaches. Um, we did take a test, um, and Alma's done one, and they're all negative. Um, so I think we've just, you know, come down with something. Um, so he felt really rubbish this morning. So he rang, rang in. Um, but anyway, if he'd have been at work, he wasn't on a late tonight. He's doing his late Friday. Um, sometimes he does it on a Tuesday, sometimes he does it on a Friday. Um, and I don't fancy a takeout because <laughs> mostly I have a takeout on girls' night. The last couple of weeks, or definitely last week, we didn't because again, Ryan was was on it early. We did still have girls' night, but we had us had us tea. Um, because when Ryan's at work, we have a takeout from different places. He he only likes certain. Well, he doesn't like kebabs, and we love kebabs, so we tend to have kebabs when he's not here. Or we have Chinese, and again, he's not a great um lover. Um, if he's having a takeout, it's either Indian or pizza. Um, and the pizza places at the moment aren't doing gluten free um, so I can't can't have one so if they're having pizza I am um, I have been some toast <laughs> um, which, you know which I'm not bothered about I like that um, I feel like it needs a bit a bit of blue down down here though but see i'm going to be putting birds on them and things so maybe not um yeah so oh we'll have indian and 
I'm a bit fed up with it, Indian food because through lockdown, I think we're, most weeks we was having one or two um, takeaways. And um, yeah, we just have that many Indians. I've, I've gone off them. Right, what am I going to put across that top? Should we have that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like it there. Um, so yeah, when he, when he's not been working late, we've been I've been still doing uh, tea. So we're not having a takeout. Um, but if I don't watch that thing, what we're watching, I mean I forget what it's even called. I think it's Bone and Shadow or Shadow and Bone or something. Um, and I think we've only managed to watch four of them. It's like I say a couple of times, we've not really watched them and then we've had to... Um, right, I just want something plain for this back. Could have that, couldn't I? It's still right over there. Over there. I'm going to cut it with scissors. But yeah, if I don't watch one this week, I'm probably going to forget what the whole thing is about because it's it's getting a bit of a distant memory now. Um, and obviously, next week we'll be able to watch one and then the week after we'll be on holiday. So I do feel like we need to get one watched um, tonight. So I might just say to her, well, just watch one. We're not waffling. We're not getting anything out. You just watch one and then go to your room. Because, um, <laughs> um, yeah. And then at least we've, we've watched one. And then I think next week I'll have to make a big effort to... Because I, I don't know if there's... Because there's only one series up. So I don't know if there's six or eight. Um, I mean, really, we could do with getting them watched before as holiday. And then come, you know, when we come back, start something something new we need to find something new um, I've caught up on telly because um, the day where I slept 8 till 8 the following day on the Saturday um, I just sat in my bedroom because Ryan was at work <coughs> Eleanor was at my mum's um, so I spent the whole oh, I've done it too short could you, could you credit it? yes we could Right, I'll put that down and then I'll, I'll just put a little peep of blue across the bottom. And um, yeah, I finished watching uh, In the Line of Duty, which is a really good uh, British crime drama. Um, and that's on the BB, BBC. And um, then I watched, um, I don't know if... You, You'll have heard of, especially if you're in a different country, uh, Davina McCall. I don't know if she's still a popular TV personality, but she was a very popular TV personality. Um, and she's, a, you know, my age-ish. And um, she did a good documentary about uh, the menopause, which I thought was fabulous because um, it's it's very hard to get information uh, about it and I've noticed that ladies don't seem to talk about it um, so yeah I sat and watched that and I thought that was really very informative um, and it was really encouraging uh, women to have more, more conversations about it because um and she was explaining how um, it affects the memory and things like that. And I just thought, you know, it's it's funny because when ladies do get to a certain age and we get forgetful and you know absent-minded and um, you know we're a bit a bit silly, um, and it just gets put down to. Oh, the of a certain age but um yeah when you really know that the hormones that that we've had for all these years and then you know as as they're 
I can't think of the word, but like disappearing um, and we're short of those things, then that actually affects our memory. Um, and it's like, well, why aren't we talking about it? Um, and they were saying about workplaces now are taking it, you know, more serious because um, there's been like, uh, there was some ladies on who was like teachers and police ladies and they ended up having to give in work because all of a sudden um, they couldn't concentrate um, they couldn't hold information and, and all the rest of it and um, so yeah I mean it's a massive massive thing so yeah I sat and watched that and um, I started a new drama. I think it's called The Pact. It's about um, some ladies who all work together and they do something a bit silly. And it ends up with somebody um, dying, but it's a bit of a who who did it kind of thing. And they're all very good actresses in it. A couple of them are, are, are well-known um, actresses. Shall we? Oh, no, we've gone to an hour. Um, I won't decorate them then. Um, yeah, I feel I feel like I failed today. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, a big a big fail. Uh, let's just have a quick look at a bird. So yeah, I spent the day uh, doing that, and I did um, a lot of fussy cutting because, like I said, um, printed out a load of labels and and things. So I just sat. Um, it's a bit big. Um, sat doing doing that so as much as you know I was having a rest um, I still managed to get get something done and the jobs that need doing aren't they um, you know in, in our world <laughs> I'll definitely prioritize that over uh, cleaning I like those are. Let's see them up. That's nice. Quite like the two two birds. Let's see. Let's see if I can find another one. Oh, my favourite bird. So yeah, and I I not watched telly for for a long time because um, I don't really get a chance. So I really enjoyed it, but again, I need to go back and finish watching that drama because um, I will forget that I've ever started watching it. When I went on to, because that's again that's on the BBC, <laughs> um, and I've got the BBC iPlayer um, on my phone. I just watch them on my phone. I mean, I've got a, a telly in the bedroom. Um, but I don't know how to work it and they've showed me Ryan and Alna so many times um, and I said yeah I probably could stumble through it and, and that but there's so many remotes um, yeah, I, just, I just can't so I'll just watch it on my phone um, so yeah on the iPlayer it tells you like things what you've watched and you know you want to carry on watching blah blah and yeah, I'd started watching loads of things and um, never carried on watching them and I can't even ever remember what I, uh, watching them. Um, and I, I obviously did because there was my kind of, um, you know, dramas and I do, <coughs> I do love dramas. Uh, especially a whodunit, whodunit kind of drama. I like that. So we'll just do this, stick them on, and then they're they're ready. Then them other ones, I'm going to put them in my um, incomplete, so you'll see them pop up another time. So I hope I've not been too droney. Um, thank you for <laughs> thank you for for being there and listening. <laughs> but yeah, I feel a bit better now. Oh, but yeah, all sorts itself out, doesn't it, in the end? 
But yeah, like I say, I've got no real issues. It's it's just lots of lots of little things. Um, and like silly things like, you know, like now the washing's building up and because, you know, I'm more tired and I'm out of the house a couple of days a week. And, I, um, you know, I've noticed like things are starting to um, pile up and there was like phone calls I needed to make and emails I needed to, personal, not, you know, work related. Um and things and yeah I just you kind of sometimes feel like there's a million and one things don't you um like I say with, with being tired and and then um, having to fit going back to working as well it's like oh well, I don't want that on there because we've already got that down the side so I don't like that It looked nice on the other one, but I don't think that one needs anything, to be quite honest. I'm not going to put any labels on or anything, because <coughs> um, if I if I want labels on them, like, I'll put put them on as, as I use the pieces. So like I say, I've got a journal uh, that I want to do with, with these pieces. Um... And I have been putting birds on. So that's those. I'll obviously have to make um, long tags for them at some point. Do I want a bit of this one just to break that music up? Yeah. Just a little bit. That. So yeah, we got three done. But I think these are going to be really nice. And what I do like about them is is how thin they are, um, because I like those long, um, thinner tags. So yeah, I have to make make some custom size ones. They're not your regular kind of size, are they? So that's that. Right, I'm going to go, best not string it out any any longer. So, I shall see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Bye.